Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. Le de l'audience. La Chambre cède la parole à l'équipe de défense de Nontier pour poursuivre l'interrogatoire. Vous avez la parole, maître. One, one brief unrelated matter before Maître I go, Mr. Coppe, President. Um, avant de poursuivre, M. le Président, on a précisé que la Chambre uh, um, a t des informations sur uh, le témoignage par vidéoconférence du témoin censé passer demain après-midi. Je pose cette question pour des raisons de préparation. President, uh, the chamber will inform uh, all parties this afternoon or the late test tomorrow. Toutes les parties cet après-midi ou um, demain au plus tard. All right. Um, Maître Coupé. Good morning again, Madam uh, Witness. Um, Très bien. I'll, I'll move away from. Um, Bonjour à nouveau, Madame le témoin. Et je laisse de côté les um, exemples de documents the break, particuliers. Um, we discuss briefly your background, Avant la pause, some general methodology nous issues, avons parlé brièvement um, de votre parcours, des uh, questions méthodologiques, de l'authenticité, de la chaîne de conservation, etc. J'aimerais uh, passer à un autre uh, sujet. Um, of documents, à savoir le choix des um, documents, la sélection des documents. Specifically, um, which documents were used en just to bring into memory again, um, according to a, a memo from the uh, OCIJ, uh, um, you have reviewed uh, 13,000 vous avez examiné 383 documents d'époque. However, to create um, uh, that Excel sheet Toutefois, with those 15,000 plus names, you have Excel, used only 871 documents. 383 noms. Um, my question Vous n'avez utilisé que 871 um, documents. First of all, how did that number From 13,383 go down all the way until 871 documents that you ultimately ended up using um, for your list. Ce dernier chiffre étant celui de nombre de documents que vous avez en définitive utilisé pour établir votre liste. Um, Mr. President, I just asked uh, this number of 871. Um, Objecting necessarily, but I think counsel should explain how, how he came up with that number just so that it can be verified by, by the chamber and the other parties. Uh, that's actually not uh, me who did that. It's the, uh, the memo of the OCIJ E443 slash 1.2. That's where I um, derive these numbers from. Um, j'ai tiré ce chiffre de ce mémorandum. Ce chiffre ne provient donc pas de moi. J'ai réitéré ma question. Vous pouvez-vous expliquer à la Chambre comment ces 13 383 documents Comment se fait-il que vous n'avez finalement utilisé que 871 documents Quel était le processus de sélection Pouvez-vous nous en dire plus Je vous remercie. In the list, Réponse. I selected those names from the, the from the list of incoming prisoners, noms. and uh, pr prisoners uh, started to enter into their location from uh, 1977 up to 1979. 1977 up to 1979. So I selected all those names based on those lists. And as for the 871 documents, it, uh, the, it, the, it was dependent on the, the lists of prisoners that I checked. As for some other documents, 
beside uh, this documents i uh, have not uh, uh, taken all those names other names from those documents je n'ai pas utilisé les autres documents uh, pour établir without going into specific la liste uh, or exact numbers, identifier des noms um, i'm still not sure if i understand completely um, sans donner les chiffres exacts je ne suis pas sûr de bien comprendre um, this um, excel List, Lors de la compilation de cette liste Excel, vous avez apparemment 12 000 uh, uh, documents. Uh, you Mais de you côté, didn't use 12 500 documents. The of the documents uh, Pourquoi ne pas avoir utilisé uh, la plus grande majorité des documents pour compiler votre liste du bureau des juges d'instruction Thank him so let me clarify once again réponse permettez-moi de préciser à nouveau I uh, looked at the list of uh, incoming prisoners uh, based on uh, the year sur la base de I worked on the list of 1976 concerning the incoming prisoners and also I worked on uh, other lists of incoming prisoners up to 1979. So I refer to the, income, the list of incoming prisoners first and then I would go to check other documents. You brought up a name in uh, my list, Vous avez cité un nom tiré that individual de ma liste. is at 1948. Qui figure au 19 Again, first, I refer to uh, the, the list of uh, incoming prisoners, for example, 1976. And if uh, the name appeared in the list that uh, that individual si entered in S21, then I uh, would uh, go to check other documents to verify. However, on some cases, uh, the one who uh, was in charge of the list uh, was not quite sure uh, with uh, the, the prisoner's uh, data. So I had to uh, check and compare with other documents. Once again, I first refer to the list of in incoming prisoners uh, dependent on the year, and after that I would go and check uh, and verify with other documents. Um, I'm not entirely sure if, if, if I follow, but let, let me try it differently, and, and let me refer to um, a memo from Je the International Code investigating judge E393.1. Um, that's a memo, um, memo e to um, Judge Kong Srim and Judge Nil Non, 30 memo March 2016, um, where he describes um, uh, the applied methodology. And under point four, he says the following, où, uh, il décrit la méthodologie uh, in total, 13,383 documents were reviewed, um, all of which can be categorized as follows. Qui, A, et qui peuvent être um, S21 prisoners, suivantes, A, entry logs, de S21, daily logs, or monthly logs, uh, B, sur une base quotidienne uh, biography mensuelle, of S21 de biographie des prisonniers de uh, S21, C, C, S21 log prepared by S21 staff with respect to the condition of prisoners, relativement uh, D, à l'état des prisonniers, S21 D, list of prisoners liste des prisonniers uh, interrogated, interrogation de lists, and E, uh, S21 et e, prisoner execution logs. Le registre des exécutions de prisonniers des frontières. Il y a donc cinq catégories distinctes, um, apparemment. Can be, uh, distinguished. My question Mais qui is, peuvent être um, recensées. Is it correct that Ma question est la suivante. Est-ce exact de dire que tous les 13,383 documents peuvent être divisés ou répartis dans ces cinq catégories 
the documents that you have used c'est uniquement les documents que vous avez utilisés Excel sheet that can be categorized, uh, pour votre feuille Excel, thus. qui peuvent être répartis ainsi. The documents of uh, 13,000 plus, which I examined, Uh, uh, these documents uh, were examined by me, and after that, uh, I referred to the 871 uh, documents, and uh, the co-investigating judges uh, issued a memorandum. And the five, five categories uh, were made based on the 871 documents that I referred to. Sur la base des 871 documents uh, auxquels je me suis um, ou que j'ai examiné. Maître Coppe, je vais essayer différemment. Peut-être ma question n'est pas très claire. Je m'en excuse. Um, Madame, je vais vous donner un exemple. Les aveux des prisonniers. Um, were they included in the number of 13,383, yes or no? inclus dans les 13,383 documents? Oui ou non? I referred to the list of confessions from S21. Des aveux des prisonniers des S21. From those Lime Museum, rather. Ou plutôt du musée de Toulsling. The the heading of those documents Say confessions of uh, the Vietnamese uh, Thai, for example. However, des, after uh, my examination of those documents, uh, those documents uh, appear to document, be uh, the type of biographies. Il semblerait qu'il s'agisse de biographies. Maybe if you can answer just uh, yes or no. Maître Coupe, confessions vous répondre par oui from prisoners. Um, were they question. included in that Les number of 13,383? Yes or no? Ont-ils été inclus dans les 13,383 documents? Are you saying that uh, I also used uh, those confessions? I am not sure with your question. J'ai également utilisé ces aveux. Um, Je ne comprends pas bien votre no. question. It is clear to me, in order to make your Excel a list, you used 871 documents. Um, however, you examined many more documents. But you examined more than 13,500 documents. My question is: um, in that number of 13,500, were there also confessions included? Comprenait-il exactement des documents d'aveu? There was a list of confessions. Can you uh, roughly indicate how many documents of those 13,383 were confessions from prisoners. Savez-vous sur ces 13,383 documents lesquels représentaient les aveux de prisonniers? I referred to the list of uh, confessions of Tolstoy. I did not uh, refer to each and every uh, confessions per se. Et non pas à chaque At was line, I, there was a, a list of confessions, the compiled list of confessions. 
compiler des aveux. Donc, vous parlez d'un document qui est de préciser. Vous parlez d'un seul document qui compile les aveux, mais pas les documents d'aveux pris individuellement. Est-ce exact? Witness, that is correct. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. Um, are you, are you nevertheless in Maître a position Coupe. to say approximately uh, how many confessions Pouvez -vous dire environ uh, there are, how many confessions Combien of prisoners il y avait? are in the possession either of DC Cam Combien or the prisoners sont Museum? en possession de combien de documents d'aveu possède le CDCAM ou le musée de Tulsling I used the list prepared by a staff of Tools Line. And that document can be found in E3's last 27-75. That is the list of uh, confessions I used and referred to that list of confessions to make it clear. That, 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 is, that is clear to me. My, my question is, in um, your two years of work, uh, 24 months of, of analysis, are you in a position to approximately say how many confessions Um, there are confessions either in the possession of Tools Lane Museum or confessions in the possession of DC Camp. Is it um, possible for you to give uh, any approximate number? Pouvez -vous donner un chiffre approximatif? In the list of, uh, of, of in my list, based on E three slash three nine three point one point three, Sur la base in that uh, e spreadsheet. The heading, some uh, documents uh, bear the heading uh, of uh, confessions, uh, and uh, there were there are 27 confessions in um, the spreadsheet. And uh, those 27 uh, documents uh, have the title of uh, confessions. But uh, in those documents, you can see that uh, some uh, documents say has uh, have the heading of uh, biographies. It appears to be a biography. Uh, so, so just to be clear, but, but there was an answer to my question, but you were admitting that you have used confessions in uh, the OCIJ list. But my question is, can you estimate roughly Ma question um, est la suivante. How many confessions there are? Let me ask it in a different way. Um, there is a historian, uh, an expert also to this court, uh, David Chandler, and he David wrote a book Chandler. about S21, his president, that is E3-1684. Uh, I'm referring to English ERN 001926856. 
Command 0091981835, French 00357268. Um, he refers to, um, according to his research, uh, that roughly 4,300 confessions have come to light so far. Uh, is that a number that uh, you can somehow uh, confirm? Can we clarify when so far was said? I presume uh, the moment he wrote his book, um, I believe I will give you the year shortly. Uh, I don't know it by heart. It's just the share edition if you ask the witness the question. Au moment où il a rédigé son livre, je vous donnerai des précisions plus tard. Juge Fens, c'est juste pour être précis dans votre question adressée au témoin. With a brief caveat, um, the witness, the historian Chandler, when he researched the, uh, the archives, Avec une certaine um, when réserve. he wrote his book, he said Madame that at témoin, Chandler, the moment of publication of his book, 4,300 confessions livre, had come to light so far. My question, is that a number that you can somehow... Uh, corroborate? Is that a number that you have somehow uh, been able to establish yourself Et as well? Et c'était au moment de la parution de son livre. Est-ce que c'est un chiffre que vous avez pu vous-même établir? In the list of uh, S21 prisoners, compiled, uh, drawn up uh, by uh, a staff of uh, those line museum. There are around uh, 4,000 confessions. Again, I would like to inform the chamber that I uh, compared the list of confessions prepared by a staff of those line with the list that I have, after I uh, uh, prepared a list, then I compared my list uh, with the list uh, drawn up by a staff of those line to make sure that uh, those documents are also available in my list. The list of uh, incoming prisoners and list of uh, out going uh, prisoners uh, are different. La liste des prisonniers entrants est différente um, sure de I'm, la I liste des prisonniers uh, sortants. Asked the question properly, but I'll move. Let, let, let me try Maître one last time. Je n'ai pas bien Do you have any question. idea, witness? Interruption du juge Fens. Today, how many confessions Madame do témoin. exist in S21 or in DC Do you know or do you not know? Forget lists. Did somebody S21 tell you to count them list. for whatever reason? Can you tell us how many confessions still exist today? On ne vous demande pas si vous les avez comptés pour so une raison pour une autre. Pouvez-vous tout simplement nous dire à ce jour combien d'aveux existent? Et si vous ne le savez pas, dites-le également. I do not know about that, Réponse since I myself rien. did not uh, examine each and every confession of S21. Chaque, des um, de S21. That's uh, clear now. Thank you, Madam Witness. Another à présent. Merci, um, Madame. potential source of information uh, would be um, S21 uh, photographs. Des sources d'information uh, potentielles seraient des photographies de S21. Cela n'est pas mentionné dans le mémorandum du 13 mars um, du juge um, d'instruction internationale. Have you, uh, in your analysis, um, Mais dans vos analyses, um, avez-vous utilisé des photographies pour tirer um, certaines conclusions Are photographs part of um, the 13,383 documents that you have an, uh, analyzed. Est-ce que les photos faisaient partie des 13,383 documents que vous avez analysés?
I have uh, not yet examined the, those photographs. Je n'ai pas encore examiné ces photos. Uh, same question um, as in Procure. respect of the confessions. Are you Même question uh, que celle concernant les aveux. nevertheless able somehow to say how many photographs dans une certaine of mesure prisoners have combien? been um, found de photographies um, de prisonniers or are present in either the uh, DC Chem archive Soit dans les archives, uh, du or the Tulslang Museum archives? Do you know how many photos there are of prisoners? De Tulsleng. Saviez-vous combien de photographies de prisonniers existent? Regarding photographs, I actually do not know the number. Question. Je ne connais pas le nombre précis de photos. Just um, very, very briefly. Um, Mr. President, I have here um, a list of um, or a book full with um, photos of S21. That is document E3 slash 9837. We have used this quite extensively um, in our examination of witnesses. May I just briefly hand it over to the witness and ask Nous avons longuement utilisé ce document lors de l'interrogatoire de votre témoin. J'aimerais que le témoin, le présent témoin, examine ce document et nous dise ou confirme qu'elle n'a jamais utilisé ces photographies. Le président, allez-y. Uh, as you see, it's not only photos, but on the back side of each photo are prisoner data, bio, information, etc. Have you ever used these photos uh, in your analysis? I have never used uh, these photos. Non, je n'ai jamais utilisé ces photos. I have uh, not uh, used uh, all of these photos. Je n'ai pas utilisé toutes ces photos. Uh, does it even look familiar to you uh, these photos with Question. on the back side um, Vous sont information? Have you ever seen these photos, photos before? Avez-vous jamais vu ces photos auparavant? Yes, I have seen the uh, Tuslam Museum, though I cannot uh, recall any specific photo. As for these uh, small photos with the handwriting on the back, this is the first time that I see them. Are you in a position to say why it is that um, your office um, has not included um, n'a pas tenu compte these photos and the data in the analysis. Is, do you know if there was some données. kind of decision-making process? Pendant savez-vous si cela a fait l'objet d'une décision au cours du processus? Nous sommes tous les deux. I only worked on the incoming uh, list, and my uh, time period was limited, that is a period of two years. And I also worked on a certain list of incoming prisoners, for example, for, for the incoming prisoners for the year of 1976, I have certain months to work on them before I move on. And for that reason, I did not have time to uh, examine uh, those photos as indicated in the memo by the international uh, co-investigating judge due to the uh, time limitation. Um, I understand. Or maybe I don't. Um, Madam Witness, um, 
one, another question. Um, uh, just before um, the recess, um, the chamber um, obtained an original uh, orange colored logbook La chambre of S21. Un orange um, de S21. Are you aware of this? Have you, have you, have you seen this uh, original orange logbook um, just about, original orange. I would say, three weeks ago? Il y a à peu près trois semaines. That would be a bit difficult. Um, assez difficile. Mr. President, you might recall that um, vous vous uh, before the recess, I requested in the very last day um, to have Wesu contact um, the witness to have her show that original orange log book that was provided to us by the, the German filmmaker. Uh, apparently, that hasn't happened. Um, may I request that um, maybe CMS, together with Wesu in the lunch break, uh, could show this orange log book uh, to the witness, just so we are sure uh, that she knows what we are speaking about. Afin que nous soyons certains qu'elle sache bien de quoi nous sommes en train de parler. Um, now let me um, move on um, to some uh, uh, general issues of numbers. Um, we mentioned this number before, um, Madam Witness. Um, in your list, you have um, a total of 15,102 prisoner entries. Um, is that correct? Uh, you have established that, um, according to you, um, 15,102 prisoners have entered and have been detained at S21. Allow me to clarify it again. In my list, uh, the uh, prisoner entries were 15,101, and it's not 102. I'm sure that's my mistake. Um, 15,101. Um, you have listed in your OCIJ list um, various um, columns, various categories, um, being, for instance, the date of arrest. For example, the date. Date of execution. La date de um, are you in a position? Uh, and of course, if you would like to have a look at your Excel sheet, um, that is uh, en mesure, et bien sûr, vous vous no problem at all. Um, but are you, a, are you in a position to confirm that um, of 15,102 prisoners, sur les that 15 only, prisonniers, let's skip the word only, um, 5,500. Le mot and 12 prisoners have a date of execution. Is that something that you can confirm? Are our calculations correct? La mention de la date d'exécution. Pouvez-vous confirmer que notre calcul est juste? I guess I mean to moon to slap me to moon for money. Good, prisoners who were executed, I relied on the original incoming prisoners 
working through uh, the years, de prisonniers entrants then we try to find other lists Ensuite, nous avons essayé de trouver to uh, check whether the prisoners were sent to be smashed or uh, executed. Pour vérifier si les prisonniers ont été envoyés and à in the uh, spreadsheet that you showed, and as I indicated, my uh, montré, time indiqué, period was limited. I did not uh, focus fully on the Donc, list of prisoners who were executed, but my uh, focus, my main focus was on the list of incoming prisoners. However, there were instances that I uh, referred through those uh, documents, that is, first the uh, incoming prisoners list, and then I referred to the uh, date of uh, execution. From my recollection, I uh, used my, several of these documents in December de because de ces documents uh, on the décembre. first or second day of December, parce que le premier, le décembre there were only a list of uh, prisoners who were executed and no list of prisoners who uh, were brought in. Et pas de liste de prisonniers avoir été and as Amené I said, first I had to uh, rely on the incoming prisoners list based on the year. And as in the case of December 1978, the incoming uh, prisoners list only existed for the 1st and the 2nd of December. And for that reason, I had to refer to the list of prisoners who were executed. So you may refer to the columns in my list, and you might know which documents that I refer to. I, I appreciate that there might be a, a margin of, of error, but um, Cooper, roughly speaking, approximately speaking, um, um, approximativement, grosso would it be fair to conclude that based on your list, de conclure, um, approximately one third of the alleged S21 prisoners have des prisonniers à uh, a date of execution? une date à laquelle ils ont été exécutés. Que cette date existe pour au moins uh, un tiers Mr. des prisonniers de l'IVA S21. Our objection to this question is that the, uh, uh, the witness has just testified that she didn't do an exhaustive review based on of the execution list. So uh, the council is, is leading and asking a question that is not, uh, uh, doesn't comport with the testimony the witness has just given. Qui ne correspond pas à ce que vient de dire le témoin, um, Maître Cohen. Well, um, I do not agree with that uh, observation, um, Mr. President. Um, either someone is executed or someone isn't executed. It's not. On a exécuté uh, um, ou on ne l'est pas. It's, it's quite a binary uh, uh, conclusion. So une conclusion I'm not quite sure binaire. what it means that Donc she hasn't done exhaustive um, analysis. Um, we'll, might, we might come to that if we have time. But my question, simple, is. Um, whether our calculations based on the Excel sheets that we have done are Notre approximately correct, uh, and Excel that is an answer that I think she uh, is able to give. So my que question le simply est en is, um, 15,102 prisoners' entries, is it correct entrées, that um, 5,512 prisoners que pour 5 have apparently de ces entrées, uh, a known date of execution. As an uh, witness, you may respond to this question and the objection by the uh, OCP is overruled. Par l'accusation est rejetée. Madame le témoin, veuillez répondre. Witness, allow me to respond. Yes, uh, that is correct. de répondre. Oui, c'est exact. I did not uh, focus the list of uh, prisoners who were executed, but I focused on the list of uh, incoming uh, prisoners at S21. Je me suis concentré sur la liste des prisonniers entrants à S21. I'm not going to um, e examples, but um, um, it seems Maître that Coppe, from this number 5,512, um, approximately 76 people have not 
died from execution, but rather from uh, diseases. Um, my question in, in general, um, if someone died of a disease, did you nevertheless list, list that person uh, as being executed? Vous répertoriez cette personne comme ayant été exécutée quand même. Generally speaking, in the list of uh, executed prisoners, dans la liste des prisonniers sometimes, uh, exécutés, for example, they mention, uh, let me just say, on the 1st of January 78, that uh, 100 people had to be smashed. However, there was a note at the end Mais of the uh, documents that there were five who died uh, from diseases. This is the kind of documents de that I voilà use uh, to see. However, in my list, Ceci I focus and relied on the incoming prisoners list. And if there was a, a note at the end that this person A died from si disease, then I may uh, make a reference uh, to that uh, note. In, uh, from that list, that is from the original document. Dans le document original. But for me, I did not focus on a list of uh, uh, prisoners who Ainsi, were executed moi, or who died uh, from diseases. And if you have any specific documents that si you may want to refer to, uh, please uh, show that to me. Did list somebody who died of a disease as executed? Is that correct? Qui était mort de maladie était référencée comme ayant été exécutée? You didn't lump all the dead under executed, but if somebody died of a disease, you made a reference, exécuté, and si if it was executed, maladie, vous avez une then si it was put exécuté, down as executed. Is that true? 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 Can I get an answer for the record? <laughs> is, the, is, is what I said true? You have to say something. Your head doesn't show on the record. I note for the record that she is nodding her head. So you agree with what I said, yes? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, then, no, no, I don't want. Legal officers should intervene. I'm not sure if she understands the question. Okay, let me try again. Did you make a difference between people who died of the disease and people who were executed in your list? If the document states that, uh, for example, this is the list of uh, executed prisoners, and if one of, one of the prisoners had a note that a person died from disease or from other uh, cause, then I would refer to that. However, as for the differentiation between uh, prisoners who die from uh, diseases or prisoners who were executed, I did not make that differentiation. And I only refer to notes from the original documents. President Jeslaven, you have the floor. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, thank Pour you, que Mr. Soit Président. Clair, In order for us to be perfectly clear on this, I did not see on the list established by Mrs. Insoutani a column indicated whether a prisoner was executed or not. However, in the documents used for purposes of reference, she referred to documents in which a prisoner was executed, or witnesses were either declared as executed or as having died of ill health. In some cases, the documents were lists of executed prisoners, but in addition to that, there was the indication that some prisoners had not been executed but died of ill health. Did I properly understand you? Yes. Well, um, 
maybe it, it's wise to use an example. Um, bien peut-être serait-il sage d'utiliser um, un exemple. Let me refer you to your, your binder Mettez-moi, examples uh, 7 à votre and 8. Dossier. Vous avez deux exemples, les numéros 7 et 8. Uh, these are respectively documents E3-3181 and E3-8460, respectivement. Um, it seems, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, that these si are um, Mais il semble names of prisoners who died on the 3rd of October 1977 of disease. Le 3 octobre 1977 um, de maladie. Um, but they are nevertheless Cependant, um, according to you, uh, executed. D'après vous, um, ils ont quand même été exécutés. Tandis qu'ils étaient à S21. So, if you can have um, let me, let me be very concrete. Um, in document E3-3181, e we see a prisoner named un prisonnier du nom uh, de Tao Nop, Tao Nop alias, Tem, alias Tem. In the um, uh, uh, Excel sheet, he is um, a number uh, 3476. And he has as a date of execution de la the 3rd of October 1977. So that's, that's a very concrete example, madam witness. It's a 39-year-old male, Tao no, alias Tem, member of the protocol section office B1, du bureau entry date B1, 1 April 1977. Apparently he died of a disease on the 3rd of October. 1977. However, in your list, votre liste, he is listed as being executed on the 3rd of October 1977. Can you explain that? Pouvez-vous expliquer cela? In my list, he's, uh, he is a document number that you just uh, quoted, since I cannot locate it. Je pas it's, à it's in document your binder under number 7. Me donner les références. Um, La défense, our E3 le number is E3-3181. Um, and the one with the sickness? That's, um, um, yeah, that's that particular document, E3-3181. Um, it's a list called Names of Prisoners Died on 3 October 77, Died of Disease. I just uh, have one example. Uh, it's Tao Nup, alias Tem, male, 39, taken from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and his function was a member of protocol section of his B1, entry date 1477. He appears on the OCIJ list as number 3476. Here it says date of execution, 3 October 1977. Um, would that be an error then? Uh, assuming disease, uh, dying of disease is not the same as execution. Cette personne est morte de maladie, mais ce n'est pas la même chose qu'avoir été exécuté. Uh, regarding the documents that I uh, review, the document's title is Names of a Prisoner's Died on 3rd October 77, Died of Deceased. And uh, in reference to this document, I put a note in English that a, uh, this prisoner died of disease on that particular day. 
and uh, you asked me whether I differentiated between the prisoners who were executed and those prisoners who died from diseases. I can tell you that I had already a reference to this prisoner that she died of disease. Um, maybe you have a different version um, of your CJ list than I have, but um, if I look at number 3476, I do not see a specific separate category of this person having died of the disease. Can you tell us where you indicated this? 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 Can you tell us where you Uh, it's, it's, it seems to be a bit difficult uh, to put it on the screen. Um, let, me, let, me, let me just to ensure that we all have the same list. Yeah. Well, I hope there's only one list. Um, but because of time, um, may I move on um, to another subject which is important to us? Um, and maybe we'll, 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 we'll get back to it. Um, that, that's another. Um, statistics um, which which we find interesting uh, madam witness um, is it approximately correct that um, of the 15102 entries um, 700 persons um, are listed as uh, wives of other people, and that among these 700 persons, um, only 202 persons are listed uh, as solely wife of. In other words, um, the other ones have, have a category wife of. Subsequently, their position within the DK, and that um, 200 of the 15,000 are listed as solely being the wife of someone else. Is that a figure that you can um, confirm, approximately, of course? Wives, out of those number of wives, for example, 200 or something, as you indicated, Quand I did not make that uh, distinction in my list. Mr. President, I, I do have some more Maître questions, Coco, but we need to um, also save um, about 15 or 20 minutes uh, for the Kyrgyzstan team. Uh, uh, so um, I will stop here. Donc, je vais and the floor Merci. is now given to the co-prosecutors to put questions to the witness. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, Merci, good morning, Madam Witness. Madame le témoin, bonjour. Um, I want to just follow up on this issue about how prisoners who died of disease were treated, because we, we, we left that hanging there. Um, in, in your OCIJ list, um, you, the very last column is titled Remarks. Um, you, were, you were about to be asked <laughs> where, where it is that you would indicate uh, if it, the prisoner had, been, had died of disease rather being executed. 
Do I understand correctly that uh, was it the remarks column uh, that was used for that information? Yes, uh, it is correct. The information is included in that column whether the person was executed or the person died from disease. However, if this information was not mentioned in the original documents, then this note would not be included in my list. Um, just so we're clear, you've stated a number of times already that your focus was on the incoming prisoner records. Um, but in cases where you found a reference to a prisoner who died of, who died of disease, um, is it correct that your practice was to put the date of death in the execution date column? But then note in the remarks column that this person had not been executed but had died of disease on that day. Do, do I understand correctly? Was that your practice in cases of prisoners who died of disease? Uh, initially referred to the original uh, documents. Uh, if in the original document uh, a prisoner dies, died of a disease or of another cause, then I would include that information in the remark column. But uh, on the uh, list of executed prisoners, and usually the title would be means the list of executed prisoners on this particular day, that I would use a similar title in my list. However, if there is a note for a particular prisoner from the list, then that information would be included in my list as well. Thank you, Madam Witness. Let me now, now go back. I have a few follow-ups on uh, some subjects that were covered uh, with you this morning by the Defense Council. Um, when you were describing the process um, for obtaining and uh, reviewing documents, um, you indicated that um, you didn't go to DC CAM uh, yourself, um, but that there was a period, uh, if I got the translation right, uh, it, you said in February or March, where you went to examine certain documents at the Tuleslang Museum. Uh, can you just describe for us what, um, what led you to go to Tuleslang Museum, uh, what year this was, and what documents you examined when you were at Tuleslang Museum? Allow me to uh, respond again. Réponse. I went to examine the Je documents at the Tuesday Museum in around February or March of 2016, before uh, my list was uh, forwarded to uh, the chamber. Avant que ma liste ne soit transmise and, à la chambre. Uh, during that period of time, I went to examine the uh, documents, in particular uh, those uh, biographies. Documents. Notamment des biographies. Because although at uh, DCCAM they have a similar uh, documents or biographies, Même I si did not uh, examine the original documents. documents and that's why I went to uh, examine those uh, documents at Tuesday Museum with the original TSL uh, identification Tuesland number. Pour, uh, I do that in order to clarify uh, their names TSL. against my list, Et whether they had their names appeared on the incoming prisoners list at S21. Because the list of incoming uh, prisoners, Sometimes uh, those documents did not uh, exist uh, in proper order, and in order to uh, complete the list of uh, incoming liste prisoners at S21 based on their existing biographies, then I went to uh, examine those uh, documents at Tuesday Museum. 
pour les comparer aux biographies existantes. Um, let me follow up uh, also on the, the process um, Une question de suivi. through which the uh, 13,383 uh, document list um, was compiled. De did, did I understand correctly de la sur la base um, that this was a list that um, um, your, si uh, the head of the analysis team compiled par le chef um, based on the DCCAM website? Is, is that where he came up with that list? Sur la base du site web du CDCAM. Est-ce de cette manière qu'il a établi cette liste? You, you Give us a, a verbal answer, a, a yes or no. Vous pouvez répondre par oui ou par non. Uh, yes, uh, that is correct. Réponse oui, c'est exact. Um, at any point in uh, this process, this review, question. Um, was there an, an effort made um, to compile a, a list of uh, the S21 um, records, whether entry lists or execution lists, um, that were in evidence or that were on the case file in case number two? D'après des documents dont on n'était pas sûr qu'ils étaient versés au dossier numéro deux. Regarding the uh, list of documents compiled by my team leader, réponse. some of the uh, documents de derived from cases 001 or 002 and which already existed on the share material drive. Documents qui existaient déjà so sur le répertoire partagé. Mais j'ai examiné ces documents et j'ai examiné ces documents et j'ai découvert prisoners. davantage d'informations concernant les prisonniers entrants. Do you, do you know um, uh, what uh, what was done, uh, what effort was made um, to uh, ensure that all the S21 prisoner lists that were in evidence in either case one or case two were, were included uh, in the master list of documents you were to review? I do not get your question. Please rephrase it. Um, um, the, the, the we've already covered um, that there was a total of 13,383 documents reviewed. Um, you indicated that those documents were compiled, that list was compiled by the head of the analysis team from the DCCAM website. My question is, um, was there an effort also made to look through the case file in cases one and two to identify all S21 records, or did you rely exclusively on this list, on the list of 13,383 that came from the DCCAM website? Um, I don't think I understand the question. In fact, it is a combination of those documents and also documents from cases 001 and 002, which I myself examined. And for the list of the uh, execution, for example, that uh, happened in the year 1976 or 77, I did not fully review those uh, documents uh, due to uh, time limitation. Uh, let me turn uh, to another subject, um, Je vais passer à un autre sujet. Uh, and that is, uh, I wanted to follow up uh, to ask you uh, some questions about how um, the process with respect to avoiding duplicate entries. Sur le processus um, permettant a, les a memorandum that was written by uh, Judge Bolander, um, E393.1, paragraph 6, paragraph six. Um, states as follows, uh, only the prisoners that were verifiable with Khmer Rouge 
dans lequel ils sont vérifiables par rapport aux documents déportés de l'Église dans la liste pour la translitération des noms et des lieux en Khmer c'est le système de translitération du CDCAM qui a été utilisé was given to avoid double entries of prisoner names. Uh, end of quote. Um, can, can you just explain to us in terms of your methodology um, what was done um, to avoid or minimize uh, duplicate entries uh, of prisoner names in the OCIJ list? En ce qui concerne les noms des prisonniers sur la liste du BCJI. Regarding uh, the names, Réponse. I first refer to the original documents. En ce qui concerne les noms, je me suis référé d'abord aux originaux. And I refer to all the relevant information regarding the names, alias, position, Toutes les informations place of au nom, arrest. There is all those information contained in the list. Ce sont là toutes Then les informations contenues dans la liste. Then I include them in the, my list. list. And if the, there are other documents that refer to uh, dans ma liste. a particular prisoner's name or a similar name, I do not only refer to the name, because uh, in some cases, uh, people similaire. use their father's names as their uh, actual names, and that is based on my personal experience of working for the CTM. I then look at the, the, the names, the original names, That is the full name and the uh, alias. Donc je regardais au nom original, nom and sometimes uh, this information is not sufficient Parfois, ces to uh, confirm pas. whether the uh, person is uh, that person. Pour confirmer Then I have to refer to uh, his uh, date of birth personne. and uh, position Dans and place cas, of, of arrest. Sometimes et la there is a misunderstanding in the spelling of the, uh, my name. The particular between uh, the, the first name en and the revolutionary name. Entre le prénom et le nom révolutionnaire. And I, I may to give Heng Sokom alias a call. But sometimes you say Heng Ko alias Ko. So there is a, this uh, mix up in uh, the uh, writing. Parfois on disait Heng Ko. But uh, there had to be two Donc, or three uh, informations which are uh, the same before I can conclude that uh, the documents refer to uh, the same individual. Pour, uh, so there is uh, the original name, the alias, the Donc, position. Original and the uh, place surnom, of uh, arrest and the date of the arrest. So at least two or three of these information has to be the same before I can conclude that Il the person or the individual is the same person. Pour que je confirme qu'il s'agit bien um, d'une seule et même personne. Let's, let's, um, I'm trying to focus on Uh, specifically how you would discover uh, when a duplicate existed. Um, sur, uh, I note uh, you that you were successful uh, in finding several hundred uh, duplicate entries in the original uh, the OCP uh, S21 list. Dans la liste uh, and uh, I'm, I'm just interested in uh, how, how you were able to, to do that. When, when you came Alors, on a new prisoner en, uh, name Uh, in the list, did you have a, a, a system for checking the names that were already entered, or can, can you just explain to us uh, generally what you did when you would come across a new uh, prisoner name to check to see whether it already existed in your, in, in your spreadsheet? Generally, I focused 
on the original document, there is the list of incoming prisoners. And if uh, there is a new name, I had to first look at uh, the original uh, document, that is the list of incoming prisoners. I could not simply just assume that this is a new name without looking at the original document. So I uh, will, based on the information I gave, I, I was given, and then I would uh, verify it uh, with the original list. Sometimes there are a few documents that I uh, uh, have in order to verify uh, the names. Let me inform the chamber that I do not uh, depend only on one document in case of necessity. But uh, in December 1977, uh, there was a list of uh, executed uh, prisoners that I reviewed. That is the only document that I have. Again, I had to refer to the original document or list of uh, incoming prisoners to make sure that uh, there is uh, a duplicate uh, name or not. As I have uh, informed the chamber, sometimes there is a misunderstanding when the name is included, uh, the misunderstanding of uh, the uh, first name and the alias name. Uh, just to make sure I understand correctly. Uh, you've indicated this a number of times. Your, your primary um, source uh, in compiling the spreadsheet and list of the prisoners was to go through the, the, the records of the, uh, the so-called the uh, prisoner entry records. Um, if, uh, and in cases where you were looking at other documents and saw a prisoner name, before you would add that to the list, you would first go back and see whether that person had already appeared in the incoming prisoner list. Is, is, is that correct? Is that what you did to make sure that you weren't to avoid or minimize uh, duplicates? That is correct, Mr. President. President, thank you. It is now time for lunch. Uh, the Merci. chamber will take a lunch break from now until 1.30. Before uh, taking the, the lunch break, uh, the Chamber wishes to inform the Defence uh, team and, other and all the parties that the orange uh, uh, lock book of uh, prisoners, the case officers, and the chamber will uh, uh, put for examination after the lunch break. The prisoner sera disponible. Court officer, please pour, uh, assist après the pause. witness in the waiting room uh, during the lunch break and please invite uh, her back together with the legal officer of the OCIJ into the witness stand at 1.30. Security personnel are instructed to bring Mr. Kiyosun Pon to the waiting room downstairs and please bring him back into the courtroom before 1.30. The court is now in recess for lunch.